What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, we went to the nether and we got ourselves a lot of the slime parts that we're looking for. We're trying to get to the point where we can make these coke bricks and we're trying to get these magma slime crystals. So, we got the stuff pretty much for that. But also, in this recipe, we need an item called Dawnstone. So, in order to get Dawnstone, you need to have a metal alloy here, right? Metal Alloyer says copper and gold dust in here will make the dawn stone. Okay, so Metal Alloyer requires dawn stone. So you need dawn stone that is made from the Metal Alloyer to make the Metal Alloyer. Yeah, that seems a little weird. So there's also a stamping recipe here. Bar stamp plus dawn, uh, plus this molten dawn stone equals this. So the molten dawn stone has a melting recipe. If we already had some nuggets, we can melt that down. There's a mixing recipe here. So we have to make ourselves a mixer centrifuge. So we need molten gold plus molten copper in the mixing mixer centrifuge to make Dawnstone. So it looks like that is four plus four. So yeah, equals eight. So you get the same amount as you put in. So that's pretty cool. So we need to get ourselves the mixer centrifuge. So the mixer centrifuge is made with seven iron plus a piece of copper, plus a mechanical core. These we've made before, so that's four more copper, and then these item pipes, and the item pipes are lead nuggets and caminite brick, some glass. So that's not super difficult to do. We might even have everything set, or I guess ready to go. Uh, I didn't even look. No, we don't have enough copper up here. We do have enough iron. We need more copper. I might have extra copper down here. Let's just go take a look real quick. Uh, yeah, I put our nether wart here because we need a spot to grow the stuff. Yes, yeah, so we have 18 copper ready to go. So let's see if we can get some stuff going. So we needed copper, iron, and we needed lead. Do we have lead in here? We have one caminite brick. We have some lead nuggets. I don't think we have enough of the stuff that we need. Uh, these, I think, I'll just put up here and turn into the bricks themselves. Okay, let's go back here real quick. Mixer centrifuge. We need the item pipe. So that is four lead nuggets, two of these bricks, and three glass. Do we have sand or glass? We do have sand. Do one of those numbers, and then we need something to melt that down with. I guess we can use coal pellets. That should work just fine. We're also going to need to melt down a little bit of lead. We do have some lead ore here, and I believe... Actually, I'm not sure. Can we double that at all in this thing? Let's try it. I'm not sure if I tried that before. Grab this guy and we will right click you. I kind of feel like we can't double this. I feel like I did this already. No, you can't. Okay, that's too bad. So I think we can smelt those down one to one in the furnace. So that'll be what we'll have to do here. We'll smelt down a couple of lead or I guess three lead. Yeah, that smells just fine. And then we'll get more of the nuggets. Okay, so back to our recipe here. So to refresh my memory once again, we also need the item pipe so that, yeah, two of those bricks. This is not quite done. It is almost done. So I had one of those bricks, three glass, and then we're going to need some nuggets. Give me that. Okay. So there is some lead nuggets. Are you done yet? <laughs> Just about. Oh my goodness. This is about the time uh, in the mod pack where I wish I would have made the Tinker's crafting table where you can put items in. Yeah, they just stay in. Oh, I clicked on the part puller. That's not what I wanted to click on. Okay, so we need then that, three of those, four lead nuggets, and there is item pipe. Now, we might have extra item pipe. Oh, you know what? We already had some extra ones. Okay, well, that's fine. We have more for later now. Great. Uh, these things keep moving around in my inventory, so four of those and four copper ingots. There's that, and copper ingots equals a mechanical core. All right, so we got that done. So now we need one copper and seven iron. Do we have the iron on us? We do. So we should be able to just make one of these. Cool. So there is our mixer a centrifuge. Let's put this down and take a look at it real quick. Oh, it's a two block tall thing. I assume it's going to require ember. It does not appear to have an interface on here. Clicking on this. Oh, error. The one probe colon default. Okay, so we can... Hold shift and look at the top part, but we can't look at the bottom part. So I wonder if this works just kind of like a smeltery where you put the items in and it just makes the new stuff. I only see one tank. Hmm, I don't know how this is going to work. Okay, did I get that back? I did. All right. Then we got one more lead in here. 
Awesome. All right, so we got the mixer centrifuge taken care of. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Like so, and I guess I'll get rid of the metal alloy here since we aren't actually going to be using that. So we're still trying to get to Dawn Stone. So we need to melt down some gold and we need to melt down, was it copper? Let me double check. It is gold and copper, yes. So both of those we need to melt down and then get the fluid piped over. So I don't know how this is gonna work. If I have to get another heating crucible and fill it full of copper and another one full of gold, this one's already got the copper and maybe we need a second one full of gold. Okay, well, I'm gonna do a little experiment here. I'm gonna try and mess around with this, see if I can get the two different fluid molten metals and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so it appears that we need to take gold and copper, melt it, Yep, and then we need to put it into a centrifuge, right? And then we need to stamp it out. So we have all these parts and all these machines here. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to try these out to see how they all work. So let's do this together. So we're gonna melt down a little bit of gold, I think, first of all, in here. Let's just do one, I guess we'll do six. <laughs> let's do those ores in there and get this connected here. And then get that little redstone. Okay, so that should start melting down. Uh, we'll end up getting some molten gold in our transfer node, I do believe. And then we can put that over into the centrifuge using the transfer pipe. I do believe that's how that works. Uh, I somehow got those six gold uh, ores out of there. That's not really what I really want to do. I assume this is going to work, though. I don't know how else we'd melt down our gold ore. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we got a little bit of liquid gold. That went over here. All right, so we get one ingot. So six ingots of copper is what we're gonna need, unfortunately. Uh, no, oh, it looks like everything melted. Now it's over here. We're gonna have a little bit of extra gold in there because I don't have enough copper. All right, so let's put the copper in here, melt those down. I assume that will melt in this, hopefully. And if everything goes correctly, that should just combine in our mixer. We might have to give it a little bit of the ember juice. I don't know if that is for sure. Uh, so I see it shows we have molten copper in here and that's not going in. Maybe this does need to have juice before that's going to happen. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, let's give this a little bit more ember. So a few more ember shards in there. Make sure everything's happy. Okay, so it is melting down that copper. Now, I don't know, does the copper have to go down to the bottom one, perhaps? Maybe it has to be like some in one and some in the other. It doesn't appear to want to go into this, though. And, you know, we did put in six ingots, or I guess six ore worth of gold, and I'm only seeing one ingot worth in here. Did I... I don't have the extra gold on me. Okay, I'm not really sure how this is all working just yet. The copper is still in there. Let's try and put a pipe on the bottom. Okay, so the copper is gone. Uh, it still says molten gold in there, so I guess this is working. <laughs> okay, let's try moving a little bit of this to here. Okay, it is going down there, so it is accepting the ember juice. Yeah, it still says molten gold on there. All right, so at what point does it take for this thing to mix? I'm not... Does Embers have a book that I can look at? I don't think I've seen that there is a book in this thing at all. And I don't even know if this thing is correct. Maybe our little tooltip here is not showing the correct stuff. Okay, well, we have another option we can try. We can take a transfer node from here and connect that over and see what kind of stuff we get out of this. Maybe it is already turned into the Dawnstone like we want. No, that just says molten gold. And we have a gold ingot over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on this. I was thinking it was gonna be that simple where we put the gold and the copper together and then we get the resulting material out or maybe both metals have to go into the bottom and then at the top is where we get the converted stuff. Hmm. All right, guys, so a little bit of research on how this whole process works, and I got it figured out. <laughs> so, yes, we melt down the ores like we were doing before. In fact, I'm going to get some going here. We'll get four more gold going into there. Uh, yeah, we melt those down. Do that. Turn this thing back on. 
And then that gets sucked out of here and put into the bottom portion of this machine. So I had to make myself a wrench from uh, X3 Tills 2, right? Disconnect it here so it doesn't go into the top portion. We want it to go into the bottom portion. So now we should have four ingots of gold down there when this is finished melting. Uh, and then we put the copper in there. And then when the two things combine, they will produce something at the top here. So now you can see there was liquid molten Dawnstone. Yeah, so we're getting stuff out of here now. I guess some of the copper that I put in there before is still around. There's eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know how to tell what ratio was in there. If there's anything else in there, apparently there is more, uh, than I thought we'd put in there. Okay. Uh, so we have 10 Dawnstone now. I not sure if I need to put these four other copper in there. I guess I might as well. Cause I honestly don't know how much is in there. So anyway, uh, I was told that you need to give it Ember at the top. Although I'm not sure if that is the case either. <laughs> Anyway, let's make sure this is properly set up. We'll throw a little bit more ember in here, like so. That should start providing our melter more power, which should melt them our copper, and then hopefully end up making more dawnstone over here if it's mixing with gold that's already in the system. But again, I don't know if we have any additional gold in there. It's kind of hard to tell what's already been melted and what's not. Earlier, we had lost, or at least I thought we had lost some of our ingots, but I guess it got piped into the bottom, so we couldn't see it anymore uh so i just put four more copper in there and nothing's come out so maybe we need four more gold ore to make more of the dawnstone i'm perfectly fine with putting some more gold in there uh four more okay yeah it's getting awfully cramped down here when i started with these machines i had no idea we were gonna need a lot of space i thought it was just gonna be a simple put them up against the wall kind of a deal and then now we get all of these things going on. By the way, I did upgrade our our uh, copper, or I guess our heat cables on top of our fluid cooling chamber to obsidian and copper ones, and those appear to be okay. They don't just burn up immediately like the dirt ones we were using, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so this should be about done. Yeah, we're getting ingots on the ground over here. Our stamper stamping. Things are happening. Uh, let me try giving this a little bit. Whoops. So this and then this. Try giving that a little bit of the ember juice. Maybe more things need to happen over here. I don't know. We got Dawnstone all over the place. <laughs> okay, so it looks like things are happening anyway. There's a couple more ingots. We good? We might be good. That might be all the stuff we have here. Okay, well, we'll leave that alone. We have 16 of these now. We know how that all works. Oh, actually, it looks like there is more stuff that's happening. Maybe I'll hang out here for a little bit and make sure that we don't waste any of this stuff because there might be more stuff mixing. Yeah, unfortunately, these machines don't really have an interface that we can look at to know for sure. Right, so now that we have this stuff done, <laughs> let's kind of backtrack a bit and figure out where we are in this whole process. So we're, here. So we're doing the Coke bricks. We need Dawnstone ingots. Per coke brick, we're going to need 27 bricks. So that means we need 56 Dawnstone. Okay, so we need more gold. We need more copper. There's a lot of things that are going to go into this in order to get to where we need to be. Uh, so I'm going to start working towards that. I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit more mining for gold because I don't think we're going to have enough for all the Dawnstone that we're going to need. And then all the copper needs to be melted down as well. Hmm. Okay, yeah. A lot more stuff to do. Let me get to it and we'll be back. Well, I had to go mine for some more gold, so I made another branch mine here. This is kind of right next to our previous one. Yeah, so our stairs come down here, right there, and we've gone all the way over here on our first branch mine. This is kind of where we ended off. There was like a lot of lava we had to deal with. Anyway, I felt like it'd be easier just to go ahead and make one right next to it so we don't have to go down as far. Uh, over here, there's a zombie, <laughs> but I saw there was some gold on the other side of this lava lake when I poked out through here. So I backtracked, came over here, went over here, and I mined it. Anyway, so we're up to 12 gold now. Uh, but yeah, we came across these diamonds here. I figured we would go ahead and check these out together and see how many we have in total here. Doesn't look like it's gonna be that many, maybe six. Yeah, we still don't have fortune or anything. So we are just mining them straight. All right, I'll just go and fill this in a little bit like I do. 
and we'll get these resources later. I just am interested in gold at this point in time. So I've been leaving pretty much all the ores there, except for the ones that have been in my way. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we now should have enough gold to mix with copper <laughs> to make the rest of our dawn stone. Whew, it's been quite an adventure trying to get all this done. I ended up going through our last reinforced iron pickaxe. So now I'm using this diamond pickaxe that we have. Uh, it seems to be mining uh, faster than the other one, than reinforced iron. I thought that one was going to mine at the same speed, but no, this it mines slower. But anyway, uh, we needed, I think it was 10 more gold. I'm, I'm not sure. I think it might have been 10 more gold. Uh, oh, you know what? I think it was 8 more because we have 8 copper on me. So we'll go ahead and melt those down. We'll convert that rest of that stuff into the dawn stone, and then we will move on. All right, guys, so we now have 54 Dawnstone. That should be exactly the amount that we need. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do, yeah, we have that taken care of. We have concrete that we'll be able to be making. We have these ready to go. Uh, ash and Stone, this is the next thing we need to look at. So in order to get Ash and Stone, we have to have Ash Piles wrapped in stone. So to get the Ash Pile, we need to take Alchemical Waste, put it through uh, the stamper with a flat stamp, and we get the ash pile flat stamp is going to be made with eight of these carmenite blends so i'll have to look at getting some of that done um but yeah we need to get ourselves uh, a way to make this the alchemical waste now this alchemical waste is made in a cinder plinth so to make a cinder plinth we have to have a furnace carmenite brick three lead plates and two silver ingots okay so all that sounds relatively simple the furnace was a pain to make before because we needed these dried brick and those were from dried brick, which was from clay. <laughs> so yes, we needed quite a lot of clay being dried out to make the furnace. Now we have access to the nether. We can use nether brick. Thankfully, we have enough of that ready to go here. So we should just be able to cook ourselves up a new furnace like so. So that's not bad. Uh, so silver ingots, I believe we can just take silver ore. I think we can just directly smelt that. I haven't tried this yet. I assume we can do that. Let's check it out together. Let's grab some of that and stick this over here and here. Yes, that looks like that is going to smelt down into two ingots. So the next thing we need to worry about are these lead plates. So in order to get a lead plate, we have to do the stamper with molten lead. We know how to do this. Uh, casting looks like we could cast it out if we had that. We could do a metal former if we were an IC2. Not quite there yet, or we can do immersive engineering again, not quite there yet. So we're going to try it with this recipe here, putting some molten lead through this machine. So we already have a setup kind of ready to go down below, but we'll have to change that a little bit to accommodate making three lead ingots. All right, or I guess uh, lead plates. So I think, let's go back here one more time before we start. This, this, oh no, cylinder, or cinder plinth. Lead plate, lead plate. Okay, we can click on that. So this says, yeah, it was one full ingot plus the flat or plate stamp will equal the lead plate. Right. So we kind of need to get the output from this just directly into the stamper like we were doing before, uh, specifically for iron. So this whole setup here, I'm just going to go ahead and tear this all back down again. And we will set this up the way it was previously. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And just for... The sake of speed, I'm just going to connect it right like that. Even though it's not quite how we had it before, we had it up in the ceiling and around and over. Anyway, this should work just fine. And then we need to swap this out with a plate stamp, right? And then three lead, ink, or three lead ores in there will melt down. And hopefully this is just going to work. <laughs> Haven't tried this before yet, but it seems like that's pretty straightforward on how this goes. So there is our first one. Uh, it's going to take this a minute to figure out, hey, we have to go all the way over here. Yeah, it looks like that worked just fine. All right, so there's a lead plate. How's this going over here? All right, so two are melted. Oh, we need a little bit more ember, a little more ember juice. I go a little bit more power, and things should happen. There's our second plate. Yeah, and this needs to find a home. There it is, and there is our third plate. Okay, so now we should be ready to go for this final machine. Uh, again, this is another one I've never set up before, so this will be a first time for me. So we have everything. There is a cinder plinth. 
let's set this down somewhere and just take a look at it. Okay, so it's not a... Well, I guess it is slightly bigger than one block. Right-clicking on it does nothing. So how does this work? I don't know. I think I saw somewhere that you can burn, like, pretty much anything in there, like dirt. If I put dirt in here, what happens? Nothing. So we need to give this thing power somehow. Uh, does this sit on top of, like, a furnace? Do we put coal in there? I don't really know. Let's try putting coal in there, see if that does anything. No. This might have to go on, like, the coal heater? Hmm. So down here, we have this guy, the coal heater. No, that's from Crossroads, so that'd be a different mod. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on this and figure out how we... Okay, coal doesn't want to go in there. If I right-click, we can pull that out. Don't want to do that. Yeah, there's something else we need to do here. Well, after a little bit more research, it seems like we have to make one of these bins and then put the cinder plinth on the bin and then provide it with some of the ember juice. All right, so let's try that. So there's a bin. Here's our cinder plinth. Okay, so you see there is like dots on all these sides. Apparently, that's where you put an ender re uh, ember receptor on there. Uh, I was under the impression you can use any type of material in here. We're going to do half a stack of cobblestone. Okay, and then we need to get our hammer. We will shift right click, right click, and then turn that on. So it looks like the stuff is coming over here, and I can't tell if anything's happening. Can you right click on this? There is no inventory here. Uh, so how do you get items out of that? I don't know. And how do I know if anything's happening? I see 32 cobblestone in here, so maybe cobblestone doesn't work. Hmm. Uh, I know I w also saw that you can use dirt, so we'll try dirt instead of just any old material. Let's try regular dirt. I think we were trying dirt before, uh, but then I saw that you could use anything, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So 32 cobblestone is still there. Let's try dirt. It still says 32 dirt. Hmm. Maybe this has to go on here. We'll try that. And throw some more ember in there. Oh, okay. So, yep, I was incorrect. Uh, ember, or I guess the ember receptor goes on the cinder plinth. The bin is just going to be collecting the drops. Yeah, if you right-click on there, you can get the stuff out. And there we go. There's our ash piles. Okay, so that is how that works. Yeah, I was under the impression this had to go onto the bottom thing. Like we've seen on a few of these machines previously. But no, it goes on the top one, obviously. So yes, the uh, the bin down here, we could also use on our stamp base. And that'll collect any of the items this thing it drops. So it's kind of like a hopper. Yeah, so it picks up the items that that drops and puts it into its internal inventory. Uh, we're at the 19 of those. I think we need a little bit more. So I guess the question is, can we use anything besides dirt now that we have this thing changed? Let me uh, take the dirt out of here. Oh, no, that's already, it's done. Okay, so there's 23 of that. Let's try putting cobblestone in there. Is that going to work just fine? We're at 23. Oh, yeah, cobblestone seems to work. We just got to put the end, ember receptor in the right spot, and everything will be just fine. Okay, so now that we got the ash pile under control, we should now be able to look at getting ourselves that coke brick that we're trying to get. Was there anything else here that we are missing? Just the block of concrete. So we need bags of concrete from Railcraft plus iron. That makes four of those. So a bag of concrete is made from nether quartz plus gravel. Or we I guess there's a way you can do ground blast furnace slag. But this is probably going to be the way we're going to have to do it here. So I need to go back to the nether, mine some nether quartz, and we'll be back. All right, guys, I think we finally got everything together for what we need here. My goodness, I've had to go to the nether so many times and try and collect so much of this nether quartz. Uh, I was making some iron ingots, and I forgot that we left the plate thing in there, so now I have some iron plates. But yeah, we got plenty of extra iron now. Uh, I had to make up some more fire resistance and night vision potions. Just got back, so I have those potions active. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So we need to make blocks of concrete. So each recipe requires four of those. We get four per craft. So we need to do this craft 27 times. So if I get rid of one of those, we should only be able to do 27 of those. And there we go, a stack plus 44 uh, concrete. 
So we should have everything that we need. And then we can go ahead and do this. So Coke breaks 27 of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that took a minute to get all that stuff done, but now it's done. That is awesome. Okay. So now that we got that done, we need to set up the multi-block structure, smack it with the hammer. And I know where there's a hammer on the front of these immersive engineering houses. There's an item frame with the hammer in it. But anyway, uh, we'll have to save that for next time when we get things going here, guys. We're going to wrap it up for today. I guess if you press F1, <laughs> uh, it makes the light go away for some reason. If you have night vision on, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to wrap the episode up here for today, guys. Uh, it took a long time to get this stuff done. We still got a lot more stuff to do. We're progressing through this mod pack. Uh, it feels kind of slow and it feels like we ha haven't even started building a base or anything, but we don't really have tools to do that. All of this, we're working towards being able to make Tinker's tools and those kinds of things. We'll be there very soon. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.